while I'm waiting for Gobbo! I guess I ought to explain about Gobbo. True name, Christopher Roberts. Uh, I knew him 20, nearly 30 years ago um, in Harrow when we were all hippies together and uh, he was a very sweet spiritual guy and about 20 years ago he just vanished and no one knew where he'd gone and um, there's a lot of speculation and every time I went to London to see old mates we just end up having the same conversation talking about this guy of where's Gobbo? Has anyone seen Gobbo? What happened to Gobbo? And so this was my um, kind of uh, salute to the guy I guess because uh, I, I so much ago we discovered that he'd arisen, he'd been living in Glastonbury all this time or in India as a, um, as a Krishna, got a kid, settled down, got a house, lives on the top of Windmill Hill in Glastonbury, works in a head shop. So when I knew that we were going to be um, playing there, um, it seemed right to put a song together about the guy. And it's all true, it's from the heart. And it's how people felt about him and what we thought about him and where we thought he'd gone. So this is a little bit of years that cases from a man that we knew 20 years ago. Let me tell you about a hippie I once knew. A spiritual kind of guy with a taste for chemical amusements. A giggling little freak, a bit of a slow, we used to call him Gobbo. And then one day he wandered away, no one knew where he'd gone. And there were rumours, seen in saffron robes, sitting on a Tibetan mountain top, on ming ing 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 Gone to live in a teepee in a Welsh valley. Cut off all his hair and became a base creature. Twenty years later, and completely by chance, there were rumours he had surfaced. Very strange. Turns out he's been working in a head shop in Glastonbury. Doesn't surprise me in the least. <laughs> Back in the summer of 1981, Gobbo introduced me to the Stonehenge People's Free Festival. A little scamp. That guy's got a lot to answer for. Is there a Gobbo in the house? Thank <laughs> you. 